Good morning, everybody. It is 13 minutes past nine o'clock right now, and each and every week we are honored to uh, jump on over and find out what is happening over at the Blank Park Zoo. And joining us right now, live from the Blank Park Zoo, is the CEO of the Blank Park Zoo, Ann Schmirdla. And looks like you're in the Bat Cave, Ann. That's right. I'm with our celebrities of the month. This is their favorite time of year. <laughs> so exactly where are you at the Blank Park Zoo? So we are in the bat cave of our discovery center. And so this is a space that um, it's actually a reverse light cycle. So by day, when people are here visiting the zoo, the lights are all dark and it's our nocturnal bat cave. And then um, it, at night, the lights are on. And so it's a reverse cycle for our bats. So they are most active when people are here. Right. And what kind of bats are we talking about now? We just saw one fly right behind you. Uh, they look pretty big. Yeah, these, these are Egyptian fruit bats. They actually weigh less than half a pound, but their wingspan is about two feet long. Wow. So they are a fairly large, uh, large bat. Um, they, just like their name says, they are uh, fruit eaters. So they love to eat different kinds of fruit from apples and bananas, apricots, dates. Um, and in the wild, they would eat all different kinds of fruit and, and nectar from trees and plants in the, in the forest. Now, for those people that don't know, what kind of animal is a bat? Because they look like another type of animal, but tell everybody what they are. Yep, so bats are mammals, just like people are, because they give live birth, they have hair or fur, and um, the mothers take care of the young. And so the mothers are actually uh, good caregivers. So usually they have a single birth. Sometimes there is twins, that's rare, but most of the time it's a single pup that is born. And then the mother carries that baby around for about six weeks before it can fly on its own at about three months. Wow, that's pretty neat. And as you mentioned, this is a popular month uh, for <laughs> bats as we're yeah. thinking Halloween and those types of things. So what's happening at the Blank Park Zoo when it comes to Halloween festivities? We have two different things. Of course, uh, our signature event is Night Eyes. And so we have one more weekend of Night Eyes starting Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Night Eyes is only in the evenings. It's five till nine um, at night. And this event is, it looks a little bit different. So you have to do a time ticket to come in. Um, and we're focusing on the lights, the decorations. We have costume characters and you can see the schedule on, the, on our website as well as a fun zone. So there's a ton of different games that you can play um, with your family when you're up in the, in the fun zone. Otherwise, come and enjoy the lights. I really recommend coming um, when it's dark out uh, just because then the lights are, are brighter and, and they're really cool looking when, when you can see them. And how many fun costumes have you seen as with, with people coming through there and the kids coming through? You know, I love seeing all the costumes when they come through. The other day I saw a mother and her daughters were dressed as a league of their own uh, women's baseball players. That was really cool. We've seen princesses. We've seen Star Wars characters. We've seen Harry Potter characters. So it's always fun to see everybody's different creative costumes that come through. And then we have the superheroes that'll be here this weekend, princesses. We'll be here for photo opportunities. And then we have our favorite space characters from a galaxy far, far away will also be here. Wow, it, it is a lot of fun and it is a tradition and a lot of kids really get a, a joy out of heading to the zoo for this event. Yeah, a safe way to get those costumes on and have a ton of fun at our very own Blank Park Zoo. Now you mentioned a couple of different events for Halloween. What's the other one that people can look forward to? Right, so if you want to come and see the animals during the day from 10 to 4, um, our animal exhibits are open and we have fun Halloween enrichment that all of our animals will be getting. So they're getting pumpkins and uh, ghost shaped enrichment or bat shaped enrichment and things like that to help uh, help it their day and to help with their animal care and, and welfare. Now you, you mentioned enrichment and basically for the animals, these are toys. <laughs> for, yes. the, for the animals yep. to yep. play with, right? <laughs> That's right. Enrichment's a fancy word for toys. So it's just <laughs> things that help keep the animals um, mentally active um, as well as physically active. Now, who usually has the most fun when it comes to enrichment? I think I have an idea who, but who do you think has the most fun? Gosh, you know, that's a really hard one. I think our big cats have a lot of fun and they have some new big tubs that they're gonna be getting uh, this weekend. We also have our rhinos. They love to knock it around with their horns. And then the sea lions, you can't beat the sea lions when they're in playing and jumping around in their pool and their water. That is awesome. We wanna remind everybody by going to the zoo, you are giving back and helping out some incredible conservation work that we're doing here locally through the zoo and, and elsewhere. But another way we can give back is there's a race going on that ends this weekend, the mayoral race. So remind everybody how that's going. 
But that's right, this is a very important election in, a, in our city right now, and especially at the zoo. So we have three candidates, and we actually just had a dark horse write-in candidate. Somebody uh, wrote us a letter with a note saying that they believe this other candidate should be, should be our write-in. But right now we have um, Barnaby the tortoise. He's been here since the zoo opened in 1966. He's a really steady leader. Mr. Dave, our toad, is running on the education and green platform. And then Meatball, our sea lion, is our newcomer. And they're all vying for um, position of mayor of the zoo. And so our election ends on Sunday. Um, you can get information from our website or you can uh, vote for your favorite candidate while you're at the zoo. All right, so there are your three candidates. We'll find out who the winner is, yeah. who the mayor of the zoo is. Uh, it's it's going to be a surprise and it's going to be awesome. And we'll be able to announce it how soon next week next week yes we'll All be right. announcing the election next week and you send us your pictures tag us on facebook uh, my house we we are a house divided so <laughs> each of my kids <laughs> liked a different candidate so we have that picture kind of posted all right sounds great Love it. it is a halloween weekend at the blank park zoo and if people want more details where do they need to go the easiest is to go to our website at www.blankparkzoo.com. All right, and thank you so thank much. You. All right, buddy. Thank you. See you later, Ann. Bye. Bye now. I loved that cave over at the zoo, right Very in the Discovery cool. Center. You just walk straight when you go in there. Boom, you make a right-hand turn. You go right, right down into the cave. All right.